Howdy everyone and welcome back to The More You Grow. We're back out at the farm again today, about middle of July. We got all of our crops in the middle of growing. Our main crop, the black eyed peas, are growing great. You can see them behind me. We've got about a thousand feet of black eyed peas out here. That's gonna be a lot of peas, guys. We've also got our melons growing. We've got different kinds of watermelons, cantaloupes going on out here. This is a great place to grow them. Got good sandy soil, which they like. The problem we're having is it's the middle of July. In Texas, that means dry weather. We're having trouble keeping all this water. So what we've decided to invest in is drip irrigation. So in this video, I wanna show you how we're installing our drip irrigation out here. In case you wanna to try to do some of this at your house or your farm, even your garden or flower bed, you can scale this up to however big you want or however small you want. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna assemble everything, all the parts and pieces we're gonna use and how you can get this set up at your house. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're gonna start a little bit uphill from the crops. We're up here at the well. We have a 425 foot well, has wonderful quality water. It's really good water. The thing is we gotta regulate the pressure a little bit because with this well, it's not like your faucet at the house to where when you turn it off, it just stops pumping. This would just keep pumping until it blows up something, until it blows up the end of our drip irrigation. So behind me, what this is, is our pressure tank that we just got. That's gonna give us good pressure for our drip irrigation, but it's going to stop it where it doesn't blow up the drip irrigation when it gets full. So you don't need this if you are using a faucet at your house or if you have city water, anything like that, because it's already gonna be regulated on the pressure. So what we need to do now we need to go down here and put some fittings on the faucet down here. The first thing we gotta look at is the pressure we want for our drip irrigation. All right guys, so we're down here at the faucet coming from our pressure tank. This is where the water is gonna come from. But what's coming out of this tank is 60 pounds of pressure and that's gonna be too high for our drip tape. So what I have here is a, a uh, 10 PSI, pressure reducer so we're gonna put that on all right so we've got our pressure reducer on that's gonna bring it down to 10 pounds per square inch of pressure so what we need to do now is we need to go from water hose to pipe adapter and you could get this all in one step if you go on Amazon and get that but I'm just using the stuff that was easy to find at my hardware store it's an extra step but it's gonna be a little bit quicker for me. So we're gonna put that on. We're going to have to put on just a little piece of PVC pipe. And what that's gonna to go to is a one inch coupling. So it's threaded on one side, it's slip on the other. So we're gonna slip that on. And I'm gonna come back and we're going to PVC glue all this. We're gonna put a thread tape on so it's nice and secure. I'm just showing you right now what we're doing. Okay, so now that we got our one inch coupling on there, the next thing we're gonna put on is our filter. So this is a filter that is just gonna take out some of the sand, particulate matter, stuff like that, that comes up. This is a pretty clean well but I just wanna have a little extra line of security. As you can see, this is a pretty fine mesh. It's gonna help filter out some of the things that we get in the well. So we just go ahead and screw that on. So that's gonna go on our one inch coupling. like that and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go from another one inch coupling to another piece of PVC pipe so like I said you can get a three quarters inch to a one inch uh, adapter but I couldn't find the one I needed right off the bat and I'm really wanting to get this in so that way the plants out there can get some water so what we're gonna connect on now is another one of our three quarter inch hose to pipe adapter. And what it's attached to right here is our timer. This timer is a lifesaver because 
it's going to allow us to set when we want the drip irrigation to go off. We don't have to be here to turn it on. If you forget to turn it off, that can be a lot of water wasted and money if you're running on your electricity. So this right here is where we can set the days, the duration, the time, all that good stuff. What day of the week, it's great. So this was just, I believe about $20, $30 on Amazon. And that's just going to go on the end of our pipe this way. So all we have to do now, once we get this all put on with our PVC glue and our thread tape, we're just gonna hook the water hose here. And now all we need to do is go put together our drip irrigation system. All right, guys, we're in the main field now. We've got our pressure reducer attached, our filter, our timer, all hooked onto the pressure tank. We're gonna take the water hose that we hooked onto the timer and bring it down here to our main line. This main line is poly pipe, and it's gonna be what we attach our drip tape to with valves. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna to have to take this open end of this poly pipe and attach some adapters to where the water hose can hook onto it. So right now, um, gonna have to kind of hammer this in if I were doing this another way I would be heating up this pipe just a little bit to where I wouldn't have to force this in as tight so we've got it on there now that is our poly pipe adapter and what we need to do is we need to go from this this one and a quarter inch adapter we got to get down to a three quarters inch water hose attachment so we have a reducer that will tighten in to our adapter here and I'll get that with a wrench here in just a little bit to make sure it's nice and tight after that we're gonna go to our water hose adapter I normally get this in brass or something like that but this will work just fine as well so we will attach our water hose adapter onto this Okay, learn from my mistake guys. Put your hose clamp on first. This is going to be what? Make sure this stays nice and tight in here. Should have put that on first before I put on the adapter and the adapter to go onto the water hose fitting. You should put these on first because once you put this on, you can't get it over it. So, I had some good thinking. I went ahead and had it run from the other end of the pipe where I haven't put my plug in yet, thank goodness. So think about these things before you do them, learn from my mistakes. So I'm just gonna take our flathead screwdriver and tighten on this hose clamp to where it secures all this in place. Okay, so I think that's all secure now. So we just hook up our water hose To our water hose fitting or adapter get it nice and tight and last but not least just make sure everything is good and secure I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and just make sure this is on here see there it could have got twisted some more we want to make sure that is on there well we don't want water blowing out from around it there we go. So now that we've got this all fitted on the hose in, we need to go put in our valves for our drip tape and put the plug into the main line. So let's go on down the line and see what else we need to do. All right guys, so we're at the end of our main line again and we just have a bare piece of poly pipe here. So we need to be sure to plug this in so that the water will go down the drip lines and not come pouring out here. So the first thing you need to do, don't make my mistake again, Put your clamp on first. So we're gonna slide that on and we'll tighten it up later. The next thing we're gonna need is our adapter like we put in on our hose end. So we're gonna get her started, push her down, and then lightly hammer it in. Don't break it. Okay, so we got it on there now. And what we need to do is we need to put our plug cap. On there this is just a PVC cap slides right on to the end here we'll take our pliers again tighten this on 
Okay, nice and tight. Last thing is we need to tighten up our hose clamp. Just using a flathead screwdriver to do that. Okay guys, I don't think that's going anywhere. Got her all sealed up, so the last thing we need to do is we need to put our valves on for our drip tape. And then we need to lay our drip tape out. So let's get to it. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to attach our drip tape valves. So this is gonna connect right into the main line via this grommet, this rubber grommet here, where I put little marks where I want my drip tape to be in this poly line. So I'm going to drill a hole in this and they have punches for this and everything like that, but I know what size I need. And so I got the right size drill bit. In this case, I needed 15 millimeters and close to that is five eighths of an inch. So not exactly perfect, but I've tested this out on a little piece and it works fine. So what I'm gonna need to do before I use my five eighths inch drill bit, I'm going to take a smaller drill bit and punch a pilot hole. And we gotta be careful not to go through both sides of this pipe. I'm gonna try to be very careful here and drill a small hole to get my larger drill bit started. There we go, we got our first hole drilled. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my second hole because I'm gonna be laying two lines of drip tape here. Okay, it's got our pilot holes drilled, so now for the big boy. Put our 5 8 inch drill bit on. So again, being careful not to drill through both sides here. We're going to try to get this started. There we go. Got our first one, I'll take a knife, clean this hole up a little bit so I don't have these little pieces of plastic. So what we need to do now, so we need to put our rubber grommets in. And that's at the end of our valve. So they just slide in like so, nice and snug. And so all we have to do now is put our valve in and it plugs in nice and snug. So all we need to do now is we need to lay our drip tape and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, we got the drip tape out of the box now and we're gonna open it up, see what we got here. So I'm gonna take one of these valves and I'll show you how it's gonna hook on here. And then we're gonna go put it out and try it out. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a little demonstration of how this drip tape gets connected. So you take the other end of our valve, push it on there, and then this tightens up around it to where we can get it nice and snug. And that's where our poly pipe is connected that you just saw, and that's all there is to it. I'll show you how to plug the ends in just a minute. So I'm just going to show you how we seal the ends, just so you know how you do it. So you just fold it in half this way, and then fold it down, and then slide it through. And hopefully that will hold it, but we will see. If you need to, you can get some clamps to go on the end, but I'm thinking that will hold it, hopefully. We'll see. So now all we have to do is we just need to hook it up and see how it runs. Well, there you have it, folks. The drip irrigation is working like a charm. Everything has perked up already after watering for a few days. This water twice a day for about an hour and a half is gonna be a game changer. The next thing I wanna to try to do is figure out how to get fertilizer into the drip irrigation system where we can fertilize all these crops instead of having to do it by hand. That's gonna be for another video though. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions about anything I did in this video, leave it down in the comments. 
If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Go check us out on Facebook and Instagram and hit that bell icon for notifications. Until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow. Thank you.